Yeah, <coughs> so we shared with uh, the uh, PAC, not just the, the price with which we have bought the vaccines. So the Pfizer price is all-inclusive, including delivery to multiple points of uh, vaccination. Yeah, the Pfizer price, which is, oop, I almost said it, um, is inclusive of uh, delivery uh, to multiple points of uh, vaccination. The AstraZeneca uh, price is not inclusive of delivery. So that's, but uh, I cannot reveal right now the, the price of delivery. Uh, what I can reveal, uh, this has been a question that has been asked and it will be reflected in the PAC's report later. Uh, for instance, there's been a lot of concerns about the very um, extraordinary temperatures with which the Pfizer vaccines have to be kept at uh, and whether or not we have the necessary cold chain facility. Um, to that end, uh, we have approved uh, for the purchase of ultra low temperature freezers, cold box, uh, and also other related uh, Bekalan Perubatan supplies uh, for the cold chain, ultra cold chain facility, 16.6 uh, .6 million ringgit. So, Ali, just to follow up on that. When you mentioned that the coaching, the, the logistical um, arrangement is inclusive of the, our deal with Pfizer, why are we also spending more money in 16.6 .6 million? Because Pfizer delivers it to the point of vaccination. Storage is our responsibility. So storage is not... Some quarters have suggested that storage sampai 1 billion ringgit is 16.6 .6 billion, 16 .6 million ringgit. 16.6 6 juta ringgit. As said, uh, cold storage facility, we are estimating about 6.7 million ringgit to buy. One freezer is about 50,000 ringgit. Huh? 70 to 80,000 ringgit per freezer yeah, for the ultra cold chip freezer. But we need to spend this because we need to simpan kan apa, uh, vaccine as well. Uh, Marie, uh, uh, because uh, you, uh, you mentioned that the storage is the Malaysian government responsibility. So does the uh, uh, government already look into which location will be? Dah, dah. Kita dah kenal pasti 55 lokasi uh, simpanan uh, untuk uh, vaccine Pfizer. So Pfizer vaccines will be probably in the urban areas because it requires this ultra low freezer. AstraZeneca oleh kerana dia boleh disimpan dalam peti sejuk biasa. We will deploy that for the uh, kawasan luar bandar, kawasan pedalaman. So the 55 locations is for both Pfizer and AstraZeneca? Uh, no, for Pfizer. Pfizer. So it's like one location, one freezer? Um, yes, at the moment, yeah. We're still deciding that, yeah, still deciding that. When we both the Pfizer and AstraZeneca are expected to arrive sometime at the end of the... No, end of February is uh, Pfizer. AstraZeneca we're working out sometime in the first quarter. First quarter mm. This year. I also want to assure that um, we are not late. Yeah? This question of kita ni lambat, we're not late. Um, even uh, South Korea is uh, receiving uh, their uh, Pfizer vaccines in quarter three of uh, this year. Australia is only going to start in March of, of this year. Uh, one thing that I want to share with the press, why, uh, for instance, uh, Singapore has gotten their Pfizer uh, vaccine uh, first uh, or earlier than us. I, I think this is an important point that I'd like to make. Prime Minister Lee Sen Long said that Singapore, with a budget of over 1 billion Singapore dollars, was able to place multiple bets by signing advance purchase agreements with vaccine partners including Pfizer, Moderna and Sinovac. Their entire budget, 3 billion ringgit, 1 billion Singapore is about 3 billion ringgit, more than that, they said, uh, was only for 3 4 million people. We had to cover almost 30 million people with the same budget. So I could not place the bets that Singapore place. They were able to place bets earlier, bigger down payments probably, to say that I want it by December. Uh, you know, it, it, in order to be responsible, we could not do that. So that's why Singapore got it first. But other countries are getting it in March. Japan is going to get it in February. Um, Australia, as I said, in March. Thailand getting it in May. Uh, so I don't think we are, we are late. And why did Indonesia, for instance, get the Sinovac vaccines already? It's because they were the, Indonesia was the site for clinical trials, phase three clinical trials. That's why they got it. 
dia dah jadi apa sorry to say lah mak mal tikus untuk uh, untuk Sinovac so they, so they got priority we we offered to be clinical trial site but at that time our case numbers were in double digit single digit so nobody was interested in doing clinical trials here so i hope people will will uh, i mean and not many countries have started we also don't want to be uh, you know the first country out there because we want to learn and some as you've seen in the news there's been uh, a lot of problems in terms of logistics in the united states in the uk there have been wastages there have been vials that have been thrown away and we want to learn from that experience to ensure that once we start in february inshallah uh, we get it as right as possible.